This is not good. You are entering a safe zone. Welcome to Words TV. To Please Words leave TV. all negativity at the door. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Refuse to Shoot, man. And we are back with another reaction and this reaction honestly it's it's just about to show you something that's that's about to be extinct in the in the near coming future um it's unfortunate it truly is unfortunate but uh change is inevitable and with change some things have to become extinct some things have to go away and uh this right here will be an anomaly uh it's sad to say and I hope that I'm wrong. Let's just go ahead and take a look here. What are you doing? Fine, how are you? You 103 years old? Yeah. And you 100. That's yes, son. You got to be the prettiest 100 year old. <laughs> <laughs> They've been married 82 years. So now, Miss Willie. Been married for 82 years. That right there, that is going to be extinct. Marriage will soon be extinct in my eyes. And I hope, I, I hope, I hope that I'm wrong. <laughs> because pride is something, and ego is something that's taking over everybody. I never understood that uh, uh, how money could be the root of all evil. But it, it shows the the level of the level of <laughs> the gall some people have when they get some a few buckets in their a uh, few ducats in their pocket Indi their individualism becomes enormous heads inflate people don't want to talk no more they don't even want to think no more they will throw a dollar at you and just turn their back. You got the women's side that gets a whole bunch of money. They're like, why do I need a man for? I don't need you anymore. The only thing I needed you for you needed for was <laughs> to protect me from myself from spending. But now I have an option to make more money than I can spend. And men are like I have all this money. Why do I need just one woman? If I'm making all this money and I'm 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 a rare breed. I don't need to <laughs> I don't need to hold myself to one woman when I can have 90 of them. <laughs> people your egos and your arrogance are at an all-time high and it's only going to get worse through this age of knowledge i don't think people understand the curse of the age of knowledge with all that you know you're going to be subjected to a lot of death because in the golden ages once the rules are set the golden ages are only set for people who understood balance. And you're not balancing out. You're rotting out in, from the inside out. The things you think about, the things that you teach, the things that you show, none of it is positive in, in the eyes of nature. And remember this, if you have all this knowledge, negativity and positivity is an energy. And we're all on that same wavelength. So as you continue to do this, it's not the older folks that are going to hear it and disable themselves. It's the younger folks that are going to hear it and enable themselves and what they will do will cause chaos and through chaos as i said before will come the golden ages where not many will survive there will be a great great shift 
there's going to be a great split between two bodies of people and the ones who think they're massively rich massively protected (laughs) just remember you get old as well anyway click this you said that the secret to a happy marriage uh-huh. is being nice to each other yeah. yeah any other advice you have just sit down and talk to you. now in etymology nice means being a fool you have to be a fool for each other because you two are the only ones that understand what y'all got going on that's why it's marriage between you two You have to be able to put up with the bullshit that your partner is giving and they should be able to put up the bullshit that you're giving that you're giving but there's always a but you should take it as a learning lesson and to adjust because you don't want to be a fool forever oh, man it's over talk things over oh yeah and get a good understanding of what you're doing and where you're going exactly both all four feet that's in that marriage should be moving accordingly together if one of you get tired the other person should be able to pick you up and see that you make it to your destination 83 years this lady here has been with this man for 83 years. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh-huh. Some people can't even make it through the night. It's a lady up here uh-huh. that's been engaged. Uh-huh. She been with her boyfriend 11 years. Yeah. Uh-huh. They been engaged for five years. Yeah. Uh-huh. He want to get married. Uh-huh. She don't want to get married because she think they ain't got enough money to have the big wedding she wants. Uh-huh. Big wedding? Yeah, big wedding, Mr. D.W. Well, now, why you want to bring us into that? Exactly. That's they problem. Outside opinions for your relationship will damage your relationship because it's not your thought process. It's somebody else's thought process. If you don't have the competence to go to your partner and try to figure out through communication what we need to do to create a foundation that is strong enough for both of us to stand on, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit there and build a a drawbridge by myself when I know you when I know that I chose a partner that can Build that drawbridge with me. Every sweat that I, every sweat, ball of sweat that I got, do you know how much powerful it is that my partner can also be out there sweating with me? Every plant that she grows, do you know every splinter she gets? I should be able to get that same splinter while we're growing our garden. What's wrong with people? Why why do you think why, why do people think that equality is a bad thing? Equality isn't a bad thing. If if father time allows you to get everything you need and after time mother nature excuse me father time gives you a pebble Mother Nature turns that pebble into a root. Those roots need somebody to direct it and form it into what we call Earth. You, as Father Time, and her, as Mother Nature, are both working on a cord to grow up, people. Grow up. Get out your ego. Get out of this fantasy world that you're living in where you think you're better 
than anybody else. This is balance is a team sport. Can't every, everybody don't you're not playing this like it's Kobe or Jordan. There's no greatest of all time. Get that goat crap out your mind when it comes down to relationships. Because at the at like the beginning of the day, it was two of you. At the ending of the day, hopefully it's two of you. But when the sun rises again, there's going to be more than two. Because you want your legacy to go on. And it should be done right. That's what we're forgetting. You don't need to have no big work. Just go and get married. Don't need to have no just go and get married. Let me ask y'all a question. Okay. okay. How long did you court her before you asked her to marry you? Oh, about, about, about three months or so. Three months? Yeah. yeah. When you're young, mm -hmm. you don't know any better. Right. When you get older, you learn your lesson. Yeah. So you know better. Right. So, now, how old was y'all when y'all got married? I was, I was 19 years old. You was 19. Mm -hmm. Now, if Mr. D.W. was 19. 19? That boy 103 now. He got married when he was 19. Yeah, 103. I'm going to stop the video right here. I'm going to stop the video here. I don't think I need to say no more. Listen, folks. Please. Please. Make sure you call somebody you love and tell them you love them, man. Because you never know when you're gone. Just make the right decisions, bro. Y'all be easy. We all have the potential for it. If we learn to be indifferent to what makes no difference.